Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is December the 28th, 2020, and today my topic is called Be Brave. Um, I had a great holiday weekend. I hope you all did, too. I apologize. I had every intention to come on back on Christmas Day and the day after Christmas, but that did not happen. Um... I spent a lot of time with family, um, you know, on different days and things like that and got home late and all these things. And so I didn't wake up. It was just a combination of stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know if y'all missed me, but I'm back and, um, you know, ready to go. <laughs> um, if you guys are following me here on Facebook, then you know that I started back up with the Faith Fit app. So, yeah, I did day two <laughs> of my uh, workout, which was really good today. It was a good balance of upper, mid, and lower body strength uh, exercises, so I appreciated that. And, um, yeah, again, it feels good to do it, you know. Um, it was kind of intense in some moments, but at the same time, it didn't feel as strenuous as some of the other days. But I did think to myself that, you know what, man, I need to be doing this every day because, you know, to get stronger and to get, like, better. Because um, I did modify some of the workouts to be a little easier for me and my uh, current uh, condition or whatever you want to call it. But, um, you know, I definitely would want to be able to, you know, get to the place where I'm going full out with the workout. Um, and not modifying it in any way and stuff like that. So I'm getting there, you know, I'm getting there. I didn't do, you know, I didn't do too much modification today, but I, I'm being honest and saying that I did do a couple of the, um, you know, kind of not as strenuous options or however you, like I said, there, there's two options on most of the workouts that they were doing. It's like you could do what this person is doing or you can do what that person is doing. So that's what I mean. But anyway. You guys, you know, have to check that out on yourself, you know, for yourself. Uh, faithfit.tv. Use that coupon code GSL to get that 10% off um, and everything like that. And who knows, man, maybe we'll do some new stuff in 2021 if the Lord's will. You know, maybe y'all can work out with me or something. What y'all think? Y'all let me know what y'all think <laughs> if y'all want me to do stuff like that. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, you know, hey. Uh, I'm here doing it this way in regards to, you know, filming the juice as well as talking to the, you know, podcast people <laughs> and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm open. I'm open to, um, different ideas and things like that for 2021. I don't know at the moment when I'm going to start back up the talk show, but I would like to start it back up in January. Um, I just don't have a date for you at this present moment, but we'll see, you know, I'll let you know, um, you know, I do not have a show planned for this week, so um, it's another break day uh, this Friday. But, um, yeah, I do intend to kick the show back off in January if the Lord's will. Uh, so that just a heads up on that. And, um, yeah, if you're listening to the sound of my voice right now, you're someone that has business or someone that would like to get interviewed or you have a book or whatever the case is, just hit me up, you know, godsexandlove at gmail.com. You can go to godsexandlove.com. Um, if you're on social media, you can always inbox us or inbox me or whatever the case is. But, um, you know, because I got to get some some things together for 2021. Um, you know, and if we're going every week, which is the plan, then, you know, hey, I'm going to need some guests and some, some people. If you want to be on um, the panel as well, you know. You're welcome to do that, too. I mean, um, this is a Christian platform, you know. Uh, um, it is for Christians to have conversations. But I'm open, you know what I'm saying? I'm open if you're not a believer. I mean, I think it's okay to have conversations. Now, I'm not, again, I told y'all repeatedly over and over I'm not a person to debate, per se. But, I mean, you know, not to say that we can't have a debate, you know what I'm saying? Or not to say that we can't have a conversation or whatever the case is. So, I'm open. You know, at the end of the day, you know, God is doing what he's doing with uh, me and God, sex and love and this whole thing. So, um, you know, he made a way for me to be able to do this here in 2020. Um, it's probably the, one of the biggest blessings um, outside of taking care of us and, you know, making it through the year with through this pandemic and everything that's going on. Um, 
healthy or whatever the case is and you know life health and strength and my family as well and you know so there's a lot to be thankful for um for 2020 um in spite of how things look and whatever the case is and um yeah so i mean you know I, i'm i'm open to god doing his thing continuing to do his thing with me through this uh whatever that looks like so um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see, well, you know, what's going to come. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited from what, what's already been done. Um, I apologize, YouTube person. That I, you probably the only person that I didn't tell that I was, that wasn't going to um, do the shows over the weekend. Um, I got to figure that out in regards to posting on YouTube, like posting announcements and stuff. Um, I usually only just post videos. So, yeah, if you follow me on any other platform, I, I did a shout out to be like, I'm not posting today, you know, <laughs> so I don't know if he was looking for me, but I'm here, I'm here, I know it's Monday and I'm here, you know, so sorry if you missed me, hope you had a great Christmas and um, time with family and everything like that over the weekend. Um, Anything else that I want to share with you guys before we get going? Um, Not that I know of, I mean, I thought about the updates on Allie, um, she's been posting, so I believe all is well. Um... She did a live, I want to say, some days ago, probably Christmas Eve or something like that. Um, she seems to be a little bit frustrated, um, I think, with the whole situation, as well as, like, I guess, dealing with spiritual attacks and stuff like that, which I guess kind of transitions me a little bit into into my, my topic for today. Um, now, yesterday, <laughs> TMI, I don't know, but I'm going to share it with you. Um, so yesterday, um, my husband and I was having a conversation, we was eating or whatever, and he comes to tell me that he has, like, he experienced some sleep paralysis, um, a few days ago, and now I've experienced this as well, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but, like, sleep paralysis is like when you, you're sleeping but you can't move, um, or you feel like you can't move, or whatever the case is. Now, I don't know if you spiritual minded as, as I am or whatever the case is. I don't know. Maybe you think it's just some health thing. Um, but spiritually minded people feel as if that this is some type of spiritual attack. I put it like that. And he said he saw something. So that was the thing that kind of was like, as he was telling me, you know, what he experienced and what he saw. I just was like what now my people on the podcast my people on the uh, video they see my reaction with podcast people i just was like looking at him crazy like are you are you kidding you say you saw what now and it, and it looked like it was going well like uh-uh no 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 i was like man we should have been blessed this house like why didn't we do why did we do a blessing when we first came in here like we did a blessing maybe um, what, a year or so after but i'm like man no like uh-uh and so I'm not going to lie to you guys, as I was doing my, let me see, not during the workout per se, um, but like as I was trying to do my prayer meditation, like that came to my mind because it was like, of course, the prayer meditation is encouraging you to close your eyes and whatever, whatever. And I was getting ready to do that. But then I also felt that little bit of fear coming to my heart being like, man, no, nah, like, you know, <laughs> um, I don't need no interactions with whatever that is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um but at the same time, you know, it was also in my in my mind and heart to be like, you know, there's no spirit of fear, all that, that God does not give that to us, all that, you know. He hubby was kinda laughing about it almost like it was no big deal or whatever the case is. And I'm over here like, dude, like, uh <laughs> I'm all playing them games, like, um, not with it. <laughs> no, but the thing is I've experienced as well, um, sleep paralysis. Now I haven't experienced it lately which i pray that you know i ain't trying to you know what i'm saying like you know let's keep that away from me lord because i really don't want to experience that <laughs> not right now you know what i'm saying um but you know i have experienced it i want to say maybe some years ago um and the time that i experienced it which was very kind of interesting and ironic um i want to say it was a little bit before i started to do my youtube videos and um what i experienced was feeling as if something was on me and almost like it was covering my mouth um which was weird at the time because again I wasn't doing anything or saying anything and I just was like and you know of course I prayed it away you know I said the name of Jesus blood all that stuff and then that that feeling went away 
but yeah, I didn't see nothing. So I'm just like, you talking about you saw something. I'm like, I ain't with that. Like, I ain't. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. Like, now I will say, oh Lord, hello. I'm doing all kind of confessions on here right now. <laughs> I will say that I've felt as if say if I was being watched or something but like I felt as if something was now this is a recent thing <laughs> so sorry sorry if I'm freaking people out right now I don't know um I don't know where you at <laughs> um but no I, I will say that I've sometimes here I've kind of felt as if somebody was there or something and I was looking there'd be nothing um type of vibe you know but other than that like that's probably the only thing or spiritual activity or whatever the case is um yeah I don't know like I don't know what my like maybe that's why I ain't seen nothing like I've thought about it in the past of being like you know God won't you reveal yourself to me why don't an angel come to me you know stuff like that but at the same time too you like God probably know your spiritual you know where you at with it you he probably know you can't handle that you know what I'm saying like I don't know what how I would feel if I saw something honestly um you know, it's kind of a, and I say enough, but, um, I was about to say enough, but it's, it's always, I think it's always interesting to me when I get those spiritual confirmations in regards to, like, even today, even with me in this, in the podcast topic for today, um, like when I get those confirmations in regards to, uh, what, what God put on my heart and then like what he presents to me or shows me later about whatever you put on my heart. You know what I'm saying? So that already is just like, it blows my mind every time. Like I said, even with this podcast and, and going from the topic to the Bible verse of the day, the, the ones that kind of, I tell you guys all the time, like the ones that correlate like today's did, or it, you know, is correlated to the Bible verse of the day that it always blows my mind, just that stuff. So I don't even know, like if I was to really see something miraculous, which is ironic, cause you know, that's what people think my name is, but it's, it's miraculous, but not miraculous. But anyway, um, <laughs> um, I say all that to say, um, when it came to that little fear that came in my heart or whatever the case was, you know, I, of course I try to push it away and try not to think about those things and be like, you know, focusing on God and understanding that, you know, he has not given me the spirit of fear and everything like that as the word tells us. Well, after I did my prayer and meditation today, the word, there was like one word that was in my mind and that was the word brave. Now, like I said, I kind of question it, as I always kind of do, because I'm like, is this a random word that just popped in my head? Like, what? <laughs> because, I mean, the prayer meditation did talk about courage, but it just, it didn't make sense. But then I, I just looked it up. I heard Brave. I looked it up. Um, saw these verses. It was like, okay, cool. Starting to write them down, X, Y, and Z. And then, like I said, when I wrote down about verse of the day, I just was like, wow. But we'll get into all that in a second. So brave. Um, I know the topic I caught, I said be brave is the the thing, but the word brave came into my mind. So these were the verses that stood out to me this morning. Psalms 112 and 7 says, He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Uh, if I pause right there and just... I, again, friends, like, I don't know if you guys are following politics. I don't know if you guys are following the things that's going on in this world. Um, I don't know if you guys are even aware of all the, like, stuff when it comes to, like, the human trafficking. All all these different things that are going on in the world, the crazy things, the things that you don't want to think about. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we just focus so much on our personal lives and we don't think about, like, the bigger picture of everything. Um, but even even if you even if you are perusing those things and lend the, and soaking those things in or getting information about the negative side of life, um, this is a good verse to reflect on because at the end of the day, even with the bad news that we receive, um, you know, according to this verse right here, it says he is not afraid of the bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. Um, and I mean, this verse right here help us as well. Romans 8 and 28, it says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. So friends, you know, there's nothing to fear, there's nothing to worry about. If you love God and you're called according to his purpose, then there you go. This is in play for you. Uh, you know, that all things are going to work together for the good, even the bad. Like I, I've shared with you guys numerous times about me and my personal things I've gone through. 2019 was rough. 
but it set everything in place for 2020 and um and I've been blessed in spite of you know um I was blessed all 2019 blessed now you know and that's the thing it's like it's not that I'm just so great or that I'm doing so something so spectacular I don't feel I feel as if I'm just allowing God to lead my life and you know making moves according to what he's leading me to do and doors open and and things are have been you know blessed around here you know I, I i feel and see the blessings because i know that without whatever that god has blessed me with that there would be a whole nother level like there you know um i can't even imagine like if god didn't open the doors and and um at least with me you know and well thank and praise god again for my husband as well like he like i said his work is considered i guess essential so he had to go to work this whole time but me like my situation had already changed and well, technically it changed for real, for real in 20, uh, 2018 when I had my son. <laughs> then it was really changed now that I, you know, had this baby in, in 2019 and stuff like that. And so here I was trying to establish things and get it to the place where, you know, I didn't have to worry about being a mom and working. Like I could still work and be a mom and it could be coincided because when you own your own business and, you know, you're self-employed, that type of thing. So my focus was on that, trying to get that going. But then nothing worked out. Like I told you guys, nothing like worked out the way I thought it would. I put it like that. And, um, but boom, next thing I know, 2020 hits. So stuff that I was already doing, <laughs> um, everybody had to do in regards to being like staying home and stuff like that. So I, I wasn't really deterred by staying home and, and stuff. Cause I was already doing that as a mom. And even before, like, I don't really, I want to go out and make some mingle and do little stuff and, and stuff like that. But at the same time, I, I'm already, I'm already kind of like, you know, when you, when you're trying to be strategic with finances and stuff like that, you don't go and do frivolous things. You be mindful of things you do or whatever the case is. So that's me, you know, that's, that's where I was and stuff. So I don't know with all that being said, at the end of the day, yeah, like like the verse here says, all things work together for the good. Um, you know, it has, that, that says all things, all things. So that means even the bad things is working together for our good. At the end of the day, yeah, people could see 2020 as a bad thing. Like, it could have been a bad thing that all of my, you know, things that I was doing and, and had going in, in 2019 just kind of fell flat and just kind of closed down or whatever you want to look at it. But at the end of the day seeing what God has done through me, even through just this is, is a blessing. And, you know, I, I'm thankful for it. Cause again, this, this whole thing has been on my heart and mind for years, as I've shared with you guys, uh, numerous times, you know, and so to be able to at least put some effort towards growing it and getting it out there and doing something towards the, the goal and vision that God has given me, um, has been a blessing. And so, you know, uh, <laughs> All right, so I, I feel led to kind of share with you guys something that happened uh, recently. Somebody, oh, so as you guys know, I, I follow um, Angela Stanton King on Instagram and stuff like that, and she'll be posting, you know, different things. And so she said something in regards to, you know, people needing to be listening or taking notes or instead of like bashing somebody, being like, if you need some help, like I'm here to, you know, help you X, Y, Z type of vibe and so I commented on the post and I just was like girl I'm here taking notes like whenever you want to help somebody talking about entrepreneurship I'm with it like let's go um it's the type of message that I put out there um and in the most nice way I, I can't I didn't say it nothing like what I just said to you but I, it was something like oh I have a business I'm open to learning from you x y and z I think I put it like that a couple of people commented on it, and then I had one person comment and ask me what I was doing or what did I, what did I own, and then I shared what I was doing in regards to being like, I had this business, this business is on pause, I'm doing this in the meantime, um, which is got sex and love and the little hustles and stuff like that. And so then the person felt like they wanted to tell me what I needed to do uh, and tell me, like, forget all this. And, and this is the nicest way possible because they didn't say it the way I'm saying it. Um, like, forget all the stuff you're talking about. You need to do this and get rich or whatever case is. Um, and, I mean, you know, see, that's the thing. I think sometimes we look at stuff and we're, we're led by our own minds. We're led by, like, 
what we think or fear or whatever the case is. And at the end of the day, like I said, God has provided, you know, this is probably the least I've worked in like since I was in high school, <laughs> like, like, you know, and God has opened doors and provided. And so, you know, at the end of the day, like maybe that person doesn't see the value in the things I'm doing or, you know, they don't see the value in the things I have done. Um, however, you know, everyone has different gifts. Everyone has different perspectives. Everyone has, and there's a need for everything, you know what I mean? In my humble opinion, you know, um, so, so yeah, I mean, you know, that person could think like, oh, you need to do this. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not about being rich or anything like that. And honestly, honestly, this is next level thinking now. It is next level thinking. But, you know, at some point you got to come to the understanding that nothing matters except what we do for God. Now, I know that's crazy to think. You know, I know we think about our own lives and our own bubbles. And, you know, some people don't even acknowledge God or anything like that. Um... But, you know, honestly, I don't know if I've said it on here. I feel like I have, but I can't remember. But anyway, um, I feel like this, what I'm doing with GSL is probably the most important thing I've done. Outside of being a wife and a mom and um, outside of maybe some of the little stuff I used to do back in the day, um, which is on the same lines of GSL uh, and what I'm doing now. Um, probably, like, outside more, more so than any of my you know, film work, acting work, um, you know, I feel like I br have helped bring some joy and stuff to people's lives and stuff like that, and some positive energy, as people say, or whatever the case is, but outside of that, like, what I'm doing for God is probably the most important thing I'm doing, uh, in my humble opinion, so, um, yeah, you know, but hey, let, let's take a look at that, though, let's take a look at that, because th this next verse right here, um, I want to, let me just read it. So it's Revelations 21 and 8. It says, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for the murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. So, as I was writing that this morning, you know, these are things that can cause some fear, you know, if you're thinking about these things. Um, you know, it can cause some fear, I guess, if you feel like your heart ain't right and you you ain't no lover of Christ or truth or whatever the case is. I don't know. Like, they, you know, I don't know where we at. I don't know if, they, if they, reading that caused fear to you. Um, I mean, it doesn't cause much fear to me, to me but, uh, I mean... You know, I, I mean, I just, I, again, I say all the time, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect by any means. Um, but I do feel as if, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on that level of me, like, you know, I'm, I'm trusting and believing in God and everything like that. I acknowledge God. <laughs> um, you know, I acknowledge God blessed me. I acknowledge God, you know, is making a way for me and, and gave me life, strength, and every good thing, you know. So um, so here's the thing. It's like we, we tend to not want to hear this side of the Bible, this side, this message, um, that you don't want to hear that verse right there. Um, you want to live your life however you want to live it. And then, you know, as if this isn't, hasn't, or wasn't said or whatever the case is. Um, I mean, it's all up to you. You know what I'm saying? Again, I, I say all the time, you have free will. We all got free will. You don't have to believe in, you know, whatever the case is. But I mean, I mean, that sounds like faithless to me. I don't know what that sounds like to you, but uh, if you don't believe that sounds like faithless. And, um, you know, it is not God's will for anyone to experience that. Um, some people may not believe that either. Um, it's just, I don't get... It's like... At the end of the day, it's like people struggle with the free will aspect of things so it's like okay so because then they ask the questions it's like the questions you ask are loaded in regards to being like oh you know if god is loving then why did he make this like why is it a, and it's like okay well technically it wasn't made for us or you you know what i'm saying however 
You know what I'm saying? If you if you you gotta get into the word though. See that's the thing. You asking questions that is like all in the word. Uh, one and then two, you're asking questions as if God isn't loving it because you go there. It's like no, no, no. This is your choice. Like these are the things that these are the choices. Like you know you you have the free will to make choices. Um, and so now you mad at the consequence of your choice. Like it's it's. But uh, everything has consequences, like everything, right? Like the, your choices have consequences. Yeah, I mean, if we can understand that in the natural, then why can't we understand that about the spiritual? Um, you know, if you do something wrong, for the most part, because, you know, unless you hire up and, you know, you got your hands into some elitism and all that other stuff. Uh, <laughs> but for the most part, if somebody does something wrong, they get some type of, you know, repercussions for that you know you either go to jail or you know what it depending on what you did you know whatever the case is um there's all there's consequences to actions you know and so it doesn't change just because god loves you like you know what i'm saying like so again i don't know if that causes any fear to hear that but you know i just excuse me but i just felt like it was important to be honest about like these things that are in the bible um you know, um, I'm reminded a bit of that guy, Ecclesia. You know, I've been giving you guys updates on that. He has been posting a bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I can't even, like, over the past few days, I mean, I've been kind of reading some of the things he's, he's saying to try to get an understanding of his perspective. Um, seems like he's following somebody that is really questionable. I'll put it like that. And, um, like, for me, the thing about that is, like, man, like, how you going to be... <laughs> like you have no knowledge of the bible at all if you're going to be somebody that leads other people astray like i don't get that like I, it's best to just don't like you know what i mean like it's best to just take your belief keep it to yourself and live your life according or you know what i mean live your life the way you want to live it versus getting out here and spreading a message that that people are going to follow and i mean at the end of the day like and I don't know. I don't know if you see that as what I'm doing. Um, but I'm doing my best to stay biblical and to not put too much of my own thoughts into whatever, whatever. But th some people, it's like they want to take whatever. And I don't know. I would be very rare, wary of that. Um, you know, like I said, I keep that in my mind. Like, okay, you know what? And I, I try to be clear about what's my thoughts and clear about what's Bible. Um so that that's me and my little personal opinion um and honestly i don't know like when i see stuff i'm like man should i respond like should i say something um or should i just this is this person's free will and free speech and they they on their page saying whatever it is so you know um let them be you know type of thing i don't know i don't know but uh, i'm just saying i'm just you know i would really be wary of, of stuff like that um but hey, speaking of, First <laughs> Corinthians 14 and 3 says, On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. So, you know, again, nothing to fear, you know, if you, if you love God <laughs> and uh, are called according to his purpose, then all things work together for the good. So, again, nothing to fear there. Um First Timothy 6 and 12 says, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. So, I mean, you know, I hope that this gives you guys something to reflect on today in regards to being brave. Um, I do have some verses in the Go Deeper section that you guys can peruse and, you know, just let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. Um, you know, this is not the time to, to shrink back, friends. You know, if you're believers in Christ, we need to stand in this time. We need to be praying. We need to be more bold. Uh, we need to be brave. Um, at the end of the day, you know, if you're going to believe what the Bible says, you and you just stand on it, you know, um, you got to stand on it. Like, cause at, end, like, cause at the end of the day, right? 50, 50, in my, in my humble opinion, there's a 50, 50 chance. If 
for, for people that are practical or be like, you know, they don't want to believe or whatever the case is. There's a 50-50 chance, in my humble opinion, when it comes to the Bible. Either it's true or it's not. Okay? So, if it's true, then all of this stuff is in play. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if it's not, then it won't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does it take away from your life to to trust in the word of God, live accordingly. Like, like I don't, I don't know what, what the downside could be to, to that. Um, I guess, I guess if you just don't, if you really want to live a life where sin controls your life or sin is, is the quote unquote God in your life or live a life where, you know, you want to just live the way you want to live. But most people that live like that aren't, and it's not about happiness, but I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know what the downside could be. Like, why people are so, uh, maybe they don't feel free, maybe. Maybe they, maybe they don't feel free somehow. Um, because everything is opposite. This is opposite land. <laughs> like, everything that the Bible say, you know, the other side says the opposite, complete opposite. Um, like I said before, right is wrong, sweet is bitter, all that whole thing. Um goes in all aspects but i don't know it's a again free will do whatever you want to do just just saying that for me i don't know about those odds like you know if you really want to break it down that way i don't think you're losing anything to live for live for god and then you know that's just my humble opinion but speaking of friends let me go ahead and wrap this up with the bible verse of today and it is psalms 34 and 4 it says I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears <laughs> friends I hope that you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to God sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow if the Lord's will bye bye y'all got a good old long juice today y'all you look look making up for all them days I missed <laughs> Now I got to say that I've missed four days, I think, because I only missed, what, two before, before now, and so, and then two for Christmas. So four days that I haven't consistently done the juice um, on the days that I said that I was going to do them. <laughs> Um, but at the same time with being Christmas and all that, like, you know, I, I think y'all understand, you know, um... You know, I am only human, uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, the break was nice, but at the same time, well, like I said, the workout was cool. Like the workout wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, but all right, y'all, well, that's that. Be brave, friends. Be brave. I cheer. Uh, I pray that you guys have a wonderful day. Um, shout out to my consistent folks that listen and, and talk back to me. I appreciate you. Um, you know, and looking forward to see what us guys going to do. It's a lot, a lot going on, a lot going on, but um, I'm excited. I'm excited about, you know, what's next. <laughs> but all right, y'all, I won't hold you up. Y'all know I don't look, I already done talked that ever long, and you know, I can sit here and talk to you now. I can sit here and talk to you, so I won't do that. <laughs> I'll let y'all go. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And um, see you tomorrow, Floor's Will. Bye bye.